You just had the crazy idea of creating your own board game and you'd like to know if you can make it happen? That's what I did and I'm going to show you part of the process. Hi and welcome to the Metamon channel. It's dedicated to the Metamon universe and I'm the creator and I'll present you over two years of progression. The game is inspired by many card games like Pokemon and Magic the Gathering. It combines simplicity of family board game and strategic elements from trading card games, like energy management as an example. No need to buy tens of boosters and spend a bunch of minutes building decks. All the cards are included in a single deck shared by all the players. In the next few videos, I will explain to you how to play and the different game modes. Today I'll show you the second version. It was printed at the Game Crafter, an American company that does print on demand and can print as low as one copy. This version has a different box than the first version and the text size on the card has been increased. You see now images of the different versions. The first was created quickly. As suggested by most board game design sources, the idea here is to create something that is functional to test the game mechanic as soon as possible. At this point I used images from the internet and the creature or actually just Pokemon. All the graphic design was done using Paint.net, a free software similar to Photoshop. For the first copy, to be printed at the Game Crafter, I had to create the original cards and creatures, all made in pixel art style. When I received the first copy, I could see the high quality of the cards and the different components. I also found out pretty quickly that the text was too small, so it was time to make some adjustment to make it bigger. I also decided to get another box, cause the first one felt a bit small and didn't have any free space to hold extra cards in case I would make an expansion. The end result is a foldable box that you see right now. It's a more cost efficient option and it also allowed to print something inside. So I decided to create a simplified rules for the first game or to play with younger children and to put that inside the box. This version of the game also includes some oversized card that when assembled together makes a map that can be used in both multiplayer and solo game mode. In conclusion, the Game Crafter is definitely an excellent option to print your game and it's going to be the way that Metamon gets printed and distributed for now. Sure, it's more expensive per copy than printing in China, but it allows people to get it in their end a lot quicker and I can make some correction that are already available in the next printed copy. Printing in China presents its slow to financial and logical issues. I'd need to have hundreds if not thousands of copy printed without knowing if anyone would actually buy them and I'm not even talking about the shipping, custom fee and all the other thing that comes with that. If you're interested, don't forget to like and subscribe. Visit metamon.com and leave your email to be informed of all the latest development on the game. The game is almost finished and ready to be released on the Game Crafter website in English and in French. I also have planned to be making a print and play copy available on my website. I hope to see you soon. Thank you.